Hey, what's good, y'all? Fusion here, back with another video. Um, and today we're gonna go ahead and talk about the uh, the first game of the finals, uh, the Celtics versus the Warriors. That happened yesterday. Uh, Celtics won 120 to 108 uh, because of a fourth quarter rally. Um, now the Warriors actually were defending quite well um, against their main player, I should say, uh, Jason Tatum. He only had 12 points uh, for 20% from the three. Um, 17.6 for from the field so in reality they played quite well um, as, as far as uh, guarding Tatum who is one of the biggest threats on that team um, but what messed them up was they forgot about Al Horford um, who had um, a team high 26 points um, shooting 75% from the three and from the field, um, respectively. Um, he hit six threes, so that's not that's not going to happen that often. Um, as well as well, Derek White, um, he hit five threes and had 21 points. And then uh, Jalen Brown, he had 24 points. And then Marcus Smart had 18. So they shut down Tatum, but that caused... Jalen Brown, Al Horford, Derek White, and uh, um, Marcus Smart to really step up their their play, and that caused them just to score more bet uh, baskets, especially in, in that fourth quarter run. Um, I believe it was a 17-0 run for the Celtics, and that just blew the game out of the water. Um, one thing. To, one thing that Tatum did do well um, is find his uh, find his teammates. Um, he had 13, um, 13 uh, uh, dimes, um, which shows that even under that pressure, shooting badly, he can make good decisions with the ball. And then that led to him overall winning. Um, so that's good for him. But there's some things that the Warriors really need to work on. Um, Wiggins had 20. Uh, Clay Thompson can't have only only 15 points, and then Jordan Poole can't have nine points. Um, Jordan Paul Poole shot badly. He shot 28.6 from the field, 20% from three. Clay Thompson he he shot okay, um, but but 15 points isn't really going to cut it. Um, Draymond has six fouls. Uh, Clay uh, Steph Curry got got three fouls in the first half you can't have that happen um because that will cause them to slow up and i don't think he hit a shot that second uh quarter and towards the end of the fourth he really didn't do much um overall he had 34 points but that just shows that he needs his other teammates to really step up um especially against this celtics team because um Grant Williams stepped up um, in like the previous games where um, you wouldn't randomly find him scoring that many points. Uh, same thing with with Derek White this game. And um, Al Horf Horford played well, I believe, one other game this, uh, this playoff season. So it seems like you really can't count him out because he's actually been playing quite well. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much having to do with the box scores there. Um, now, what the Warriors need to like remember is they have a better um, talented team as far as scoring wise. Um, Wiggins can always always give you at least 16, 17 points a game. Clay Thompson needs to step it up. He 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 needs to be at, at the 21, 22 point game um, to really push this team over as well as Jordan Poole who has that clip um that's someone else who has to all um has to really step up as well um and early we can't have Draymond um have have those fouls now I am rooting for for the Warriors because I am a Lakers fan and I will never root for Boston ever um but I can't say that they have been playing great great basketball so not really much much hate 
pay like for me to give them. Um, but that's pretty much what I saw from the from the first game. Uh, the Warriors really really didn't have that amazing third quarter. Um, so this game, so next game, that should be back to how they usually play. Um, and that's one thing that luckily this Celtics team knows how to do is weather the storm quite well. Um, Steph had 21 in the first half, um, well, the first quarter. And usually that would mean that, or the game is over. Um, but this Celtics team's poise, the, the way they, uh, just rolled with the punches and slapped them right, slapped the Warriors right, um, up in their face and played through it. That's really like the only team to beat. That's really the only way, excuse me, uh, to really beat this Warriors team is not to let their fantastic shooting, their fantastic scoring, their uh, their crazy three point shots dictate who's going to win the game. It is a lot of mental toughness that has to beat this Warriors team, and this Celtics team has has proved it upon proved it upon proved it. So. Yes, that's pretty much all I got. Um, I personally still have the Warriors in six games. Um, myself, I just didn't know. I just didn't think that the Warriors would lose this lose this first game. But I think these next uh, few games will be a whole lot better for the Warriors. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next video. Peace.